Hey everyone, Sue Bodin here. Are you a business owner and your business has become the biggest source of stress for you and you keep setting goals for yourself and you keep missing the mark and you just don't know what to do? I'm gonna show you today that there are different levels uh, to set vision for our business and how to keep track and also enjoy and uh, feel fulfilled what we're, with what we're doing. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So when we have a business, a lot of us think that it's just this entity and by itself, right? So we set a vision, we say, okay, did we wanna make, you know, a million this year, 10 million, whatever the, your goal is, you write down your goal and your vision attached with the, with the goal and you, you know, go forward with that. What I'm gonna show you is that we need to reverse that or start from top to bottom because business actually is the bottom of this board of how to set a vision and we always should be starting with the spiritual vision what does that mean what is spiritual vision that means is your self-image you who you are as a person who you show up as and this is not just a business owner right it's it's who you are uh, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically, because we're not one dimensional, are we? A lot of times we fall in the trap of, you know, saying, oh, I'm, I am my business, right? I'm a CEO, I am an entrepreneur, and we become one with the business and totally forget about who we are sometimes. I do see that. And it takes over us, right? Like we, we even lose ourselves in our business. So we always want to start with the spiritual vision, um, I have a template for that and also have a video uh, if you want to uh, learn about more about uh, self-image, identity. Uh, I'm going to drop that as a link for you to check it out. And uh, I have a template for you to write down your spiritual vision. Let me know if you want that template. No worries. I'll just send it to you. Just message me. Okay. So then once we know what our spiritual vision is, now we're ready to write down our life vision, right? So we want to create a life business it should not become our life right we ha we should have a life meaning that what does that vision look like uh who do you spend your time with where do you go what do you do who do you help and what fulfills you what fulfills that energy with you you know that energy source that you have what what is going to make you come alive right that is your life vision and energy for your business always going to flow from your spiritual self, who you are, you show up as, your life vision into your business. And that's why some people and people I work with, when we do this switch, they never run out of energy. And, and they can see what the business as is. Because if you're making decisions just based on business, but life you want to create is totally different, you're totally different tracks. You become this conflicted person. You become, you know, stressed out, overwhelmed, right? There is a gap between the two. But when you start from the top, you bridge that gap. Let me know if this makes sense in the comment. I want to make sure that you understand this because it's a game changer and it's a game changer for my clients and for myself. I have implemented this and it, it actually puts you on track uh, if you're off track, if you're overwhelmed and you, you just don't feel like you're wasting your time or trying to, you know, you're spinning, right? So, uh, and once you figured out your spiritual vision, your life vision, now you're, you're ready to write down your business vision that is all connected and it becomes very easy to make decisions for your business because at some point it you may come very clear to you once you have this picture that maybe you need to do something different or maybe you need to make different decisions to make sure that you're creating the life that you want to create and show up as who you want to be there is no gap you're happy you're enjoying yourself there's no gap in any of these things and that's how you uh, can keep track on what you're trying to create with your life, with your business. And at that point, your business becomes a vehicle. 